Hey guys, and welcome to another very exciting Premiere Pro tutorial. Now, I know I haven't actually created many tutorials for Premiere Pro in a little while, but Adobe just released a brand new feature in Premiere Pro CC 2021 that I'm super excited about. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use the brand new speech to text feature. This feature allows you in Adobe Premiere Pro to really easily convert your spoken words into a written transcript, fully automated, powered by Adobe Sensei AI. From this AI generated transcript, you can then generate any number of caption tracks directly into your sequences in Adobe Premiere Pro. On those caption tracks, you can then customize the text, the length, the styling, the look, the position, anything about those captions. You can even have multiple caption tracks within the same video for different styles or completely different languages. And you can easily switch between them so you can see what those captions would look like together with the final video. And once you're happy with how those captions look in your sequence, you can then either bake them directly into your final video, which is really cool for social media where a lot of people don't actually play the sound along with videos, or you can export those captions as a separate captions file that you can then upload along with your video to platforms such as YouTube. But now I feel like I've waffled on forever. Let's jump into the tutorial and let me show you how to use speech to text in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021. Here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 21, and I've actually got the sequence open to this very video that you are watching. Now, before we get into it, do make sure that you have version 15.4 or later installed. By the way, you can read about all of the new features included in each release on the Adobe website. Simply make sure that you do have the July 2021 release version installed, which then does give you access to the speech to text tools, as well as the tools for editing transcriptions, as well as the capability to actually generate the captions automatically. If you're not quite sure which version you are running, simply come back to Premiere Pro, come up into help and select about Premiere Pro and up here you'll see your version number. So make sure this is 15.4 or later. Let's click this away and let's bring up the new captioning tools, which are now in a new text panel. So simply come up into window and in here you should now find a new text panel. Let's bring this up. And this panel now gives you the ability to transcribe your sequence, which converts the spoken words to an actual written format. You can create a new caption track and we'll do that in just a minute. Or you can actually import an existing captions file and start working off that. Now I'm actually going to take this text panel and dock it up here in the top left hand side. I just find it a bit easier if it's kind of out of the way, not floating over everything. And in my sequence right now, I have three audio tracks. I have A1, which is all of the VO. This is just me talking to the camera. Audio track two contains some sound effects, mainly for the title and a couple of overlays and audio track three contains music. So I want to transcribe my sequence from audio track one. So let's simply come into the text panel and click on transcribe sequence. Now this will create a transcript from the currently open sequence, which for me is called final. You can see the name up here. Then you've got a few transcription settings and I don't actually want to use the audio mix because I don't want the music or the sound effects to be included in Adobe's AI, try to convert that into a written version. So I'm going to pop this open. I'm just going to select audio track one because that contains me actually talking. The language, you have quite a few different languages available. This doesn't translate, it just, this is the language you're speaking in. So I'm speaking in English. So that's what I want the AI to assume my language is. And then you've got a couple of other options, but I'm going to leave all of those on default. And then let's simply hit transcribe. Now, first off, Premiere Pro will actually render out all of the audio on the selected tracks into a single audio file. Once that has happened, that file is going to get uploaded to the Adobe server, and then it will actually transcribe that sequence. So this is now running through Adobe's AI, Adobe Sensei, to analyze that uploaded audio file and transcribe my spoken words into text. Now, this can take a little bit depending on the length of your sequence, your internet speed, and the load on the Adobe service. Usually, this comes back pretty quick, though. And here I now have a written transcript of everything I'm saying. You can scroll through this, make sure that all looks correct. You can also click on any part of the text and that's going to jump the timeline cursor to exactly that moment where you're saying those words. So let's just come back a little bit to this particular part and hit simply hit space. This feature allows you in Adobe Premiere Pro to really easily convert your spoken words into a written transcript. And the amazing thing is that this transcript tool actually plays along as you're playing back your sequence. So you can see exactly which word is matched to which parts of your talking. You can also simply come in here and you can edit this. So let's say I always start out with, hey guys, but I don't really want a comma between them. So I'm just going to double click into this. Let's make some changes. Let's go, hey guys, and welcome to another very exciting Premiere Pro. It's not trial, it is tutorial. So in here, you can now kind of fix those things up. 
Now, you may notice you don't actually see any captions just yet, and that's because we're working with a transcript. This is really just the written version of everything I'm saying. We haven't yet created captions tracks, which then take this transcript and turn it into actual captions in the video. Now, I would recommend go through this transcript first and fix up anything that you think is not quite correct. But once you're done with that, let me just make this a little bit bigger. Up here, you'll find this button, Create Captions. So once you're happy, let's click Create Captions. And this is going to create a new captions track directly in our sequence. Now, I want to create a new captions track from this transcript using this particular text. You can also create a brand new blank captions track that you can then populate and do whatever you want with. But it's going to leave this on create from sequence transcript. You can change the preset, the styling of the subtitles used as well as the format here. I'm just going to leave all of these ones on default. And then here, there's some really cool options to determine how much text at any point in time you want on the screen, as well as how long those captions should be on the screen at any point in time. You can insert gaps and you can determine whether you want your captions to be single or double lines. You can always rerun this process with different settings to see what those captions turn out to be. But I'm just going to leave this all on default and let's simply hit create. And you can now see the captions in the preview window and you have a new captions track directly in your sequence. Let's zoom in just a little bit here. And each of these pieces here is a caption itself. If you scrub through, you can see the captions being displayed in the preview window. On the left hand side, you may notice that the tab has changed from the transcript on the left, which is our full AI generated transcript, to the captions. And this is your currently selected captions track. And again, as you scrub through, you can see this track follow along. On the left hand side, you can see the timestamps. And as before, you can click on any of these captions. Premiere Pro will automatically jump to that point in your sequence. And again, you can double click onto any of these captions and fix up any text issues that you see. You can immediately see that reflected directly in your preview window. By the way, you can actually click on these captions directly in the preview panel. You can click and drag to move them around if you wanted to. You can also double click them right in here and change the text or fix them up. And this will immediately be reflected back in the captions tab within that new text panel. Now let's zoom in a little bit more and you can freely change the duration of any of these. You can make these captions shorter or longer. And again, you'll notice that all of the timestamps here on the left hand side in that captions tab will update to reflect all of those changes. So you're free to either make all of your changes in the text panel if you just want a big block of text to look at, or you can go through the track itself and make all and any changes as you think unnecessarily to make these captions look any way that you want. Now, the cool thing is you can actually have more than one caption track within your sequence. Let's simply come back into the transcript tab in the text panel click on create captions and let's create another captions track from that transcript. Let's simply hit create again. And I now have a new captions track in my sequence. I have a second one. So let's say I wanted to have a German captions track. I can just right click on this. Let's rename this one to German. Let's rename the one below that to English. And I can now toggle the visibility between the two. I can disable both of them and export my video without captions track at all. But I can only ever have one captions track visible at any point in time. And now on the German one, I could now go through all of these captions. And by the way, you can see I've got the C2 German track selected. If I enable the English one or select any of the captions on that English track, you can see it's now switched back to that English captions track. So you can edit either track in here. It just toggles depending on which one you have selected and are editing down here. But yeah, I could now go through the German one and just translate all of these captions or I could just do it right in here. And then I have one captions track that is for a totally different language. Now let me make the preview panel a little bit bigger. Let's come up to, let's say, the German track. And let's say I really don't like how these captions look. Let's select one of them. And the way you can style them is using the Essential Graphics panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's bring up the Essential Graphics panel with one of these captions selected. And now you can change anything about them. Let's just pick a completely different font. Let's just make them a little bit bigger. Let's left align them. And let's just pull this over a little bit. And if you now scrub through. Well, I only changed the style of this one caption, but I can actually just select the whole lot of them. In the Essential Graphics panel, it now shows me I've got multiple items selected, but I can now change the style of everything I have selected at once. So let's again change the font. Maybe I'll right align them this time, give them a bit of a background. I'm going to go with black. Let's push that out a little bit just so they stand out just a little bit more. Maybe I'll change the zone to the bottom right captions block just so that that 
caption sit down there. And then there's a couple of other things that I could change about it if I really wanted to. But now if you scrub through, you can see that I've changed the style of all of these captions. So hopefully from here, you know how to create a transcript, how to create caption tracks and customize them, both in terms of the text, the content, the timing, as well as the styling. Now, if you want to export them, you can actually just come back into the captions tab within the text panel over on the right hand side. Right now, I've got the German captions track selected. Obviously, it's not actually German, but just as an example, you can now come to these three dots here and go export a .srt file. Simply give it a file name and save that out. If you now open this file up, this is a standard SRT captions file that you can upload to YouTube or use in any other way that you see fit. The cool thing in Premiere Pro is that you're not limited to exporting SRT files. With a captions track enabled, if you export this video, if I now actually export my video directly from Premiere Pro with that captions track enabled, in the export dialog, come into the captions tab in the export settings and change the export options from none over to burn captions into the video. You should now see the captions in the preview of what you're going to export and let's export this video. And if you now play this back. Hey guys, and welcome to another very exciting Premiere Pro tutorial. Now, I know I haven't actually created many tutorials for Premiere Pro in a little while, but Adobe just released a brand new feature. All of those captions are now properly baked into the video, which means that even if you don't have audio, people watching this video on social media can follow along. Now, you will see some weirdnesses with the transcript that gets generated by Adobe Sensei, Adobe's AI, and that's pretty normal for any AI trying to figure out what you're actually saying. But for the most part, I was actually pretty impressed with how well Adobe's AI could figure out what I was saying. Plus, I was pleasantly surprised with how well it identified and used punctuation and spacing and breaking things up and generating captions. There's still some things that need fixing, but for the most part, it's just super easy to generate a full transcript for everything you're saying, go through, clean it up, and then export that as an SRT file to go up with your video on YouTube or Facebook, or just bake it directly into your video if that is meant for social media. And that is all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more. All and any useful links you will find in the video description. And please leave any comments, questions or suggestions down below. And with that, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.